Roberson was the seventh ranked high school player in the nation in the 1995 class, headlined by Kevin Garnett, and he was the jewel of the Michigan class, which was considered at the time to be the best ever. But with the personal accolades rolling in, his personal life began spiraling out of control. I just started doing things that I knew I wasn't supposed to do. I probably was doing them my first two years, but they was undercover. By my junior year and my senior year, I didn't care who I did in the front of. By my senior year, it, it was it was it was it was it was a tragedy by then. It's your girl, the missus, the missus with the kisses. Mwah. What's going on? What's good, y'all? Yeah, I got my hair done today. I got my nails done today. I got it all done for the occasion, baby. All for the occasion. What's the occasion? Always me. <laughs> Always me. Always me. But what's good? I am so glad that you all are here today with me and Pooley, my husband. Baby, tell up, everybody, though? hey. What up, though? What up, though? That's that Jason shit. Everything is explicit language tonight. Explicit language. Um, What's the other one? Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, but I don't know. I don't know if she's gonna be. Yes, yeah, yeah it allegedly. is some allegedly tonight. It is some allegedly <laughs> tonight. I'm sorry, allegedly. but Terrence is on here, and what Terrence got to say, I don't think it's allegedly okay. Oh. But we do got some other stuff. What? Oh. We don't know. Oh, we don't know. Terrence, he just said we don't know. We don't know if that shit allegedly. That he said. <laughs> Bully shit. Bully. <laughs> <laughs> been on this since his goddamn school. Grade school. He's gonna say, we don't know if this It just <laughs> might be allegedly to them. Don't you start the shit to them? Yes, the missus. Let's, let's get, get the missus. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. We are celebrating. This is what we had at our um, this is what we had at our party. Everybody at our table had a glass, only at our table. So but anyways, y'all, are y'all ready for tonight? Did y'all see that sneak peek? Y'all ready? <laughs> Holy <laughs> what, is, what is that? I'm coming. Told y'all, Holy I just say, I just say, that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. But I am so excited for tonight, y'all. I have been. <laughs> He off the chain. Bully off the chain. What up, Audra? Hey, Audra. When I tell y'all, this has been planned for about, what, a month in the making? Probably about a month in the making. Thank you. Hey, Sadie Pooh. Sadie Pooh, say you so beautiful. Hey, T -T. hey, Rhonda. Rhonda, when I tell you, baby, you in for a treat tonight. <laughs> y'all are in for a hey, treat Rhonda. tonight. <laughs> If y'all got some teenage kids out there, teenage grandkids out there, tell them they need to log in right now. They need to log in right now because they finna learn something. They yeah. finna learn something tonight, baby. Right here, some shit. Yeah, hair done, nails done, everything done, wood, everything did, wood, <laughs> fancy, baby, I'm fancy. <laughs> yeah, hey, Aria. I, girl, girl, I real we ain't talking. I real Walker? Yeah. From Saginaw? Oh, okay. No. I really went to school. I think she went to Saginaw High too for a little bit. I think so. But hey, I really girl, she went to BV. That was our home. That was my homie. That was my homie. But y'all, we got another homie in the building, baby. We got another. Yes, we definitely gotta catch up, I really. We definitely gotta catch up. 
But we have another homie in the building. This man, when I tell y'all, he basically has helped put Saginaw on the map. Okay. Do you agree with that? Facts. Facts. <laughs> he has helped put Saginaw on the map. If you go anywhere in Michigan, in the surrounding areas of Saginaw, probably even more places, and mention his name, they're going to know exactly who he is. Terrence Roberson. When I tell y'all, he has a story to tell. He has a story to tell. I can't put it no other way. He is here tonight. Mama Peach is here tonight. Hey, Mama Peach, boo. Hello, Mama Peach. <laughs> she is in the building. Uh, we have some surprises for Terrence tonight. This is basically, mm -hmm. yes, we do. We have, yes, we got surprises. Well, y'all, we all know Pooley don't help. <laughs> but anyways, we do have some special surprises <laughs> for him tonight. Um, I'm sure he's going to have a great time. I'm sure you all are going to have a great time. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So, with, I mean, y'all, I'm so excited. Look, but it's like, I'm crying. I'm crying. Oh, like what? <laughs> Alrighty. Oh. But yes, we are going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and introduce Terrence Robeson in the building. I got to play back this clip one more time, y'all. One more time before I bring him up. I got to play it. Here we go. Robeson was the seventh ranked high school player in the nation in the 1995 class headlined by Kevin Garnett, and he was the jewel of the Michigan class, which was considered at the time to be the best ever. But with the personal accolades rolling in, his personal life began spiraling out of control. I just started doing things that I knew I wasn't supposed to do. I probably was doing them my first two years, but they was undercover. By my junior year and my senior year, I didn't care who I did in the front of. By my senior year, it, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a tragedy by then. He ready, y'all. He died there, y'all. He ready, y'all. Here he go, Mr. Terrence Robertson. Hey, boo. What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? We are great. We are That's great. That's what's up. First of all, I must say that I am so honored and so thankful that you accepted the challenge oh. of coming on to PGT time. Yeah, the it, it, talk edition. <laughs> oh yeah, you know I won't have it no other way. I had to. You know this is history right here. This is definitely history, um, especially during the finals. Huh? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know, if, <laughs> I can't say it. That's the first thing he said. Uh, Who did decide to tell me tonight? During the finals? 15 minutes before the show that the finals was on. Man, right, right. I'm oh, right. He showed right. Yeah. He showed right. But at the same time, you still offered to come on and do this show with us tonight. So I'm so thankful and I'm so grateful. I really am. Happy to be here. I'm happy to be here. All right. Well, we're uh, we are going to get started tonight. Um, we got so many people out there in the building tonight already. So we're gonna get started. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. Now, some of the things that we're gonna be doing tonight, Terrence. I'm uh -huh. gonna show you some pictures. Right. Uh -huh. And I want. <laughs> I'm going to show you some pictures tonight, periodically, throughout right. the night. Okay. And I want you to tell me the first thought that comes through your mind when you see these pictures. Okay. You're going to see one at a time. All right. Okay? Okay. That's number one. Then I also have another surprise for you, which is a special tribute that we have for you. So, oh, we, yes, a special tribute. <laughs> <laughs> I put my time into this. Oh, that's what's and up. And then we have another surprise for you just as well, but I'm not going to tell you what that surprise is. Look, right. 
What? Man, listen, I don't know shit. No, he don't know. He don't know. But you got, got some surprises. Like, huh? You got some surprises. That's all I got to say. I'm, like, I, I'm waiting to see the pictures. Right. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here nervous right now. I'm over here thinking. Like, what type of pictures? What was she? Say, what's the yes, I got some mind? pictures. I got some pictures. Right. But before we get started, we're going to start off with a clip. And uh, we got to play our fair usage first. So I'm going to go ahead, play our fair usage, and we're going to go straight into the first clip. When we come back from the first clip, we'll talk about that clip, give our commentary on it, okay? All right. All right. And here we go. Warning. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotape, or video discs under certain circumstances without authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. Where would Terrence go next? Being a Southside kid, Roberson was expected to continue the family tradition and attend Saginaw High. But in the early 90s, ninth graders in the Saginaw School District attended middle school, meaning the freshman phenom wouldn't be allowed to play on the varsity team. Well, that wasn't the case at Buena Vista. So the chance to play right away and this car ride conversation with his mom years back led the six, seven freshmen to be a knight. He just asked me, you know, when I get to high school, what school I want to go to? And of course, I said Saginaw High, and she was like, "Nah, I think, I think BV would be a good, you know, good, a good school. You know, you and Coach Reed, you know, Coach Reed, a good guy, and this and that." And so she said, "When you go to high school, I want you to go to BV." And you know, we talked. Not, not to say that it was gonna stick, but she didn't make it around and really, you know, see me go to high school. So I just felt like that was the thing to do for her. So when you heard that he was coming to BV. What was the talk among all you guys? Well, we figured they'd win the state title. But, you know. Roberson joined a powerhouse lineup that included Chester Searles, Shedrick Morrell, and Raymond Roberts. And he did not disappoint. The 14-year-old averaged 15 points and 10 boards per game. back let us pull us up let us pull us up i forgot we was cold down there oh yeah so we are yeah. back so what did you feel about that clip hey what did you just, feel about that clip hey that just brings back memories man like you know, th just to be a freshman and to be playing on the palace floor you know in the in the championship you know that that just that was just a a, a, a great feeling by itself you know you just never you just don't really dream about that. You just don't really see yourself being there sometime. But I mean, I kind of, I kind of envisioned that though, like the year before. You did? Yeah, yeah. I kind of, cause I, I had went to go see uh, Jalen Rose and I'm play against Saginaw High against uh, Daniel West and and uh, and uh, Saginaw High. So I, I was just telling my dad, like, man, I'm, a, I'm gonna be here one day. I'm gonna be here. And, hey, the next year, I, I, I chose to come to BV and we was there. Now, did you come to BV just because your mom wanted you to come, or was it because the um, if you would have stayed at Weber, you wouldn't have been able to be in the high school? You, you know, been it was it was a, it was it was multiple reasons. It was multiple reasons, but my main thing was because of my mom. But but other but other stuff played a factor too. I was just I just felt like I was too good for middle school. You know, it was too easy. You know, it was uh, for real. It was just too easy. It, it 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 wasn't a challenge. You know what I'm saying? So once once me and Alton Sanders Puncho, you know, broke that barrier of eighth graders playing on night on the, on the ninth grade team in middle school, 
you know, it wasn't else for me to do. I had to leave, you know, but my mom did play a factor, you know, factor in it, you know, cause she wasn't around to, you know, see that part of, you know, the, the process or whatever. So, you know, but then, you know, it was, it was, a, it was a couple of things, but that did play the, the biggest, the biggest part. And we're going to get to that later in the show just as well. Your oh, mom. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. But when you decided to go to BV, uh -huh. did you also hang out with your Weber friends at the same time or you was just straight blue and white? No. Nah, I'm from I, BV. You nah, know what I'm saying? No, nah, for real, like on some real stuff, like when I when I when I made my decision and everybody, you know, Saginaw knew I made my decision, it was like I I kind of lost all my friends, you know. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, it, it was like I didn't I ain't know what to, you know, I ain't know what to, you know, what was gonna be as far as me coming from the city, coming to B V, you know, and it was it was, you know, I had mixed emotions because I ain't really know nobody. But mm -hmm. uh but once I made that transition to B V, it was like I uh, just went overseas or something, you know what I'm saying? It was like cause B V had closed in the community by itself. You know, mm -hmm. it's like B V, then it's Saginaw, then it's Bridgeport. You know what I'm saying? So BV, you know, they BV. And so once I made that transition, it was like I lost all my my, my uh, city friends. I was like a traitor then, you know what I'm saying? I was like, <laughs> I was just being real though. That that's just what that's just what happened. I, you know, I was I was like that. I was like that outcast though. You know. What yeah. I mean? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You had people that felt like that though, because yeah, you know, I'm pretty sure that everybody had a plan. Because I already called out the second on high team before we went. I like I'm not even trying out. I already know who's gonna fucking make the team. <laughs> like our champion. Like coming from this is coming from fucking junior high, man. Right. We right. already know who's gonna be on this damn team when we get to high school. Period. You knew that. You kind of knew that you from knew elementary. Who was gonna be it, on the school? It was it was almost in elementary. You already knew coming up what school you was going to, and you know what I'm saying what, what you know it was it was it was crazy. But and crazy? Made that decision though, it was it was it was yeah. I, I was like a, I was like a trader, man. I was like a the outcast, man. Yeah, but it was it was it was cool, you know what I'm saying? Cause I made I made new friends. I made you know I made I made new homies. You know what I'm saying? My, my you know my hoop my hoop squad was my friends. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, but 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 once I got the BB, everybody took me in though. It wasn't it wasn't never no problems anyway though. You know, it yeah. wasn't never no problems. It was always love to this day. To this day. To this I got day. you, bro. Why would it be problems? <laughs> 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 Make it make sense, bro. Now they got you. Ain't no problem. Right. There would be no problem with your other friends if it had been the other way. And right. we would have shunned you because you throw the opportunity out there and was like, never mind. You know, because you know? it was like it was like them championships I won, it was for BV and not for Saginaw. You feel what I'm saying? You know, that's just being real. You know, Saginaw wanted them championships. So by me going to BV and not coming to Saginaw, you know, it was like, you know, shit, nigga, shit, we supposed to be here winning this shit for SAG. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's how it was. And that's how everybody felt. And if they say different, they lie. You know what I'm saying? That That's just real. Like, them, them championships for, for inner city Saginaw people who grew up with Saginaw, them championships weren't for SAG. Them was for BV. You know what I'm saying? That that's just how I, that's just how it was. Exactly. Now, did you feel like when you came to BV and the things that you went through, you know, at BV, mm -hmm. did you feel like you would have went through the same thing if you would have stayed at Weber and went to Saginaw High? Because you went through a lot at well, BV. I, yeah, I I I didn't really start. I didn't really start going through stuff at BV to uh my my junior year. My junior year, that's when stuff started. Cause my first two years, you know, I had I had uh Romont Roberts, I had Sid, I had uh Rodney Frierson, you know, Chester, I had Will Bradley, you know what I'm saying? I had yeah. I had mature people around, you know what I'm saying? Not to say that you were the youngest was, one. Yeah, yeah. So they kept me, yeah. I, so, so they kept me straight. You know what I'm saying? You know. Mm -hmm. So, but, but by my, but by my junior year, you know, different, different stuff started. You know what I'm saying? Going on different, you know, different avenues started, started playing the plan of factor into. Then I started making the, the damn Detroit Free Press. 
You know what I'm saying? For not even basketball reasons. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like when you think about it, though, I'm, you know, it's hard to make the Detroit free press and you from Saginaw. Here I am, a, a 16, 17-year-old kid making the Detroit news, Detroit free press. And I and I, and this shit ain't even about basketball. This shit about some other shit. Oh, about me driving the principal car and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So you drive the principal car? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> never did. Never. <laughs> never did. So why did they say you drove the principal car? Because me and her was cool. Because she was cool with my mama. You know what I'm saying? Her and my mom. She had my mom at Arthur Eddie. You know what I'm saying? So when she got the BV. This was the principal at BV, right? Right, right, right. Okay. Right. Uh, look, he said, like, I told you allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> now, it was a lot of rumors that <laughs> went around BV. Well, about like, the like principal. What? About the principal. And who, me? Yes. Yeah, I heard that bullshit. You heard to it? Say, like, to this day, you know what I'm saying? My, my Detroit home, like, my D, when I go to Detroit sometimes, like, my coaches, they, they used to tease me about that shit to this day. People still ask me about that dumb shit to this day. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of people that still talk about that dumb shit to this day. You are right. You are yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that shit. So no. it's good that you're able to clear that up right yeah. now. Yeah, I'm happy. I, now, I'm happy. Hold on, I, let me say this. Let me say this before ahead. you say this. Go ahead. If you are from BV, if you know, you know. Yeah. If you don't know, you don't know. Now go ahead. That's all I was saying. Nah, That's all I was saying. Go ahead. Oh, it was no, it was it was it was nothing like that. Just being real. It Wait, they, the people that been wondering this can't hear Terrence because you was just talking. So go ahead, Terrence. Yeah. No, go ahead. no, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing like that at all, period. She just used to look out. I ain't gonna lie. She used to look out. It, but that was on the strength of my mom, though. You know what I'm saying? My mom, my mm. grandma, she knew them. So so she used to, you know what I'm saying? She used to look out. She, you know? And people just took that and ran with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when I look they back on it. Yeah, when I look back on it, though, like, I was, I was, you know, it was, I was, I, I didn't I didn't look at myself that way, you know what I'm saying? But like for real, like making the, you know, make like different stuff that was going on. It was like, damn, like, like me and my baby mama, like we was damn near like rock stars, you know what I'm saying? That's 16, 17 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. Mm -hmm. it was, yeah, it, I was. Like it was, it was, it was, it was, it was big and, and motherfuckers played a part in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers in her head, motherfuckers in my head. You know what I'm saying? And we young, you know, we had our son. 16 years old for 15 16 years old you know what i'm saying so it, it 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 was it was a lot you know i had a baby i'm an all american i'm winning state titles you know what i'm saying i'm 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 hollering at this chick that chick they hollering at me you know what i'm saying whether they grown, and you had the city on your back man grown you know what i'm saying i was yeah i i yeah it was yeah. It, it was it was deep like when i really like reflect back oh yeah it was deep it was almost too much for me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know how to handle that shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. That, that that shit was coming too fast. It was like everything was too easy. It was like, you know, it was, it was, it was, you know, yeah, it was, it was too much. You know what I'm saying? And then now, I do you feel like it was too much then? Or as you be as being an adult, you realize it was too much now. <sighs> no, nah, it was well, it 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 actually wouldn't have been too much back then if I would have listened to my daddy. Okay. And just being real. Just being okay. real. Just listen to my daddy. You know, you got to think, like, my mom died at 31. You feel what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it was like, my daddy young, you know, so so he young, trying to raise me. I'm young. He trying to find his way. You know what I'm saying? He, he still, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, he was just trying to teach me. So the things that he was trying to teach me, that's what he thought he knew. You know what I'm saying? And we talked about it, you know, to this day. It was like, you know, we talked about our rights, wrong, whatever. But mm -hmm. more of his rights than my, you know what I'm saying, than me trying to do what I wanted to do. If I would have listened to some things, then certain things wouldn't have happened. You know what I'm saying? But, exactly. But certain things well, made me a person, though. So, you know. There you go. And we're going to speak more on that just as well. But um, I told you that I had some few surprises for you right tonight. On. Right on. Yes. So I am going to bring up our first surprise. Let me see. I, yes, I'm going to bring your su see. surprise up. Now, hold on. You know, I got everything in order. We got a visitor. We got a visitor. 
<laughs> and here we go. Our first visitor for the night is going to be your friend, Miss Courtney Schaefer. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Man, what's happening? <laughs> what's up? Look, what's up, baby? Miss, what's good? I wouldn't have missed this shit for the first <laughs> I know, that's right, girl. Know. You hey, what's know. up? What's, what's happening going with you? Oh, baby, what's going on? Oh, man, I'm well chilling. Deserved. Well yeah. deserved, baby. Oh, yeah, this is this is a nice surprise right here, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. This well is just... fucking deserved. You see my background. Yeah, where well, you at? Where you at? You already know where the fuck I'm at. Oh, yeah, okay, now I see. <laughs> my second oh, job, nigga. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, now I see, now. Now I see, now. <laughs> Courtney, you so crazy. <laughs> oh, tell that your ass up. Tell that your ass right, up. Right, 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 right. But you know, I had to take a break from tearing that ass up to holler at my homeboy. Man, man. I so, I so, I'm so appreciate fucking proud of you. Man, I Straight so appreciate up. you, baby. Man, you know it ain't number love. You know it ain't number love. You know that. This. This, this year's of history right here, nigga. Years, years. Hey. Man, hey. Tanil, this third grade. Hey, I'm you the only person that my mama, hey, you the only person that my mama let call my house. Right, for real though, for real. <laughs> real shit. Right. Could no other girl yeah, call my house. Could no other girl that's call my talk. house she but told you. Me that. Real shit. Yeah. Real wow. shit, real yeah. shit. And that shit, kept, that shit carried on right over the grandma. Man, for right on. Right on. <laughs> Let me tell you, Tanil, when I saw this nigga walk in school, he had, he had transferred from Salina. Third grade. I said, damn. How many times this one? Like, ooh, we he so tall. Is he ever going to get out of elementary? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then I saw his mom. I said, oh. That's where you get it from. He's tall right. like his mama. She was just as tall. Yeah, she was just yeah. as tall. About five, about five, eight, five, nine, somewhere around there. She was tall, though. She was. Yeah, yeah. she was tall, tall as hell. She was tall, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, the killer part, that carried with him. Everybody thought that nigga was too old in elementary. <laughs> Everybody. They thought he was a grown ass man playing elementary ball. Like, like straight up. Straight up. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, when it, it, I. Honor. When I went through, uh, I did my research. I see. And what, yes, yes, I yes, see. I did my research, baby. So when I did my research and I saw Courtney and I saw how the some of the things that she was saying on your page, right. I said she got to be family. She got oh, to yeah, be family. Sure. So, and when yeah. I reached out to her, hands down, Courtney was like, I'm there. Right, I am right. there. That's my brother. I love him. Yeah, she was yeah. like, I'm there. So, yeah, Courtney, girl, you know, I love you, Courtney. Yeah, yes. I love you, both you and Pooley. Uh -oh. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. Thank your family, too. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. Um, Courtney's sister, Lena, that is like one of my best friends in the world. I love Lena. I love Courtney, their entire family. And, girl, you know, y'all the shit. Y'all is the shit. <laughs> T, I'm going to tell you this. I really tried to get my daddy to make a cameo. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would have been. I knew that would that would have made your day. But you know them niggas, they, he finally got a chance to get away because you know he's been locked down for a while. Right. So he right. finally got a chance to get away and go back up north. So he missed it. But he did want me to tell you that he loves you and congratulations and it's well deserved man i love him too Aww. Tell him i love him too yeah that yeah. is so sweet that is so real sweet. talk yeah that's real my talk yeah great now Courtney, did you want to stay up with us for a while or did you have to leave and drop back down what you gotta do girl yeah i'm i, I mean i'm gonna stay with y'all for a little while but my connection is a little shoddy well, okay. Man, get, I that, girl. Get, I get that, get that baby. <laughs> get that but baby. you know what? But 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 he already that know. I'ma holler at his ass. I'ma holler at your ass tomorrow. Man, you know that's that. what I, I I was just about to tell you when you leave there. Yeah, holler at me when you leave there or something. You know I'm up. That, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> right Tenille, on. Pooley, I see y'all asses in June. 
<laughs> you will see us in June, baby. You will see us in June. <laughs> we gonna see them in June. I, I, I be, look, he said, "What's going on in Bro, June?" Say, "What's going on?" I just go along with shit. Yeah, you we'll know, see I you in June. <laughs> I can't sit still. I can't sit still. I gotta I make a move girl. back to the A. Right. Well, come on <laughs> back home, girl. Come on back home. <laughs> and this is this. I just want to say again, man. Like, listen, you are a pillar, right? In our community, you have trailblaze in Saginaw. I appreciate you. We we really don't deserve what you've contributed, you but I appreciate it. what you've contributed to the city of Saginaw. Honestly, right like, right. and I don't want you to ever ever doubt who you are, what you've provided, and what you continue to give. Right, right? man. I love man, you. I love you. Love man, you. I love you for so sure, for sure. Girl, I might, I might have to chop that up and put that on the damn replay. <laughs> well said, girl. Well said. Yeah, that's my nigga right there. I love you, man. I love you. Yeah, and I know a celebrity. Man. Yes. When I tell you, I still look, I still look at Terrence as a celebrity. T. Rose in the building, baby. In the building. Oh yeah. In the building. <laughs> Well, All right, yeah. then. Y'all take care. I love you, dude. I, mean, I love yeah, you, too. Love Thank you, too. you, Courtney. Love you, baby. Bye. 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 All right. <laughs> All right. That was your first Oh, yeah. Surprise. That was right on time right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's my day one right there. That's my dog right there. Yes. That third was your grade. first surprise. That yeah, that's third surprise. grade. Yeah, that's third grade right there for real. Yeah, that's a long, long time. Man, her daddy was my coach. Wow. Yeah, her daddy. That's a long time. Yeah, yeah, heck shit. Since third grade. Now, when we're going to, like I said, we're going to get into your mother passing away and everything. Um, right. But when you, what elementary school you went to? All right. Uh, I'm going to clear this up because I yeah, heard. Yeah, how did this chain go? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let the world know. Cause, Cause, a lot of people just don't know. You know, they they, they don't know. See, just like Sus said, he came from Salina. No, I didn't. No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not. <laughs> I'm from the South Side. Yes, I am. My my family born and raised out, out, but I never went to Salina. I started playing basketball for for Salina in the kindergarten. So everybody thought that I went to Salina, but I didn't. I was at Holy Cross. Mm. Yeah, my mom told my mom I ain't play. Like so. I was at Holy Cross from the kindergarten all the way up to the third grade. And hold me and Holy Cross just didn't mix. Like you know, I was too tall and you know what I'm saying? Everything is blank. On me. You know, everything that happened, kid, kid get hurt or something. I, I did it. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was so it was a lot of stuff. And, and a couple of things I, I did do because I was I was kind of bad too a little bit. But mm -hmm. so my mama took me from Holy Cross and um uh, Put me in uh, holding because Miss Miss Lenny Skipper was a, 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 a you know my well, cousin. Yeah, I was gonna say friend of family, but she my cousin. So her and my mama, my mama, you know, put me over there, and so I went from Holy Cross to Holy. But I was still playing for Salina, going to Holy until the fourth grade when they caught me, and they. And, <laughs> yeah. Now when he say when they caught me, y'all, this is he talking about basically when you stay. He's going out of district basically. You know where he live at, right? That's what you're talking about. Where no, you live at, you supposed to go into no, your own district. No, I was I was enrolled at Houghton, but every Saturday instead of playing for Houghton, I'm he playing for Salina. Oh, they caught you that way. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they caught me. So so somebody came to the game. Like, hold on, like, like this this shit can't be happening. What the hell going on? So <laughs> so they went and told uh, the uh, principal. And she called me in the office, like, baby, what's, what's going on? You can't be playing for Salina going here. And then that's when I started playing for Holden from the fourth grade all the way up to the sixth. You know, from the fourth grade to the sixth grade, you played for Holden. Yeah, I played for Holden. Yeah, I, I got me a, I got me a football that was, that was championship my first run in the sixth grade. We won we won a football championship in the sixth grade. So I, I got me a championship. But, but basketball, we, we was all right. Yeah, you know? was so my, when did you realize how good you too. was? <laughs> you know what I'm when, saying, and I'm not. I'm not talking no, about. Oh, I just like playing basketball. And that uh, no, no, that you I, knew you finna be a star. <laughs> like when I, when I, when I really, honestly, when I, 
when I really, really knew I was good, Linus, is when I beat my cousin forehead from off the south side. Mm. And this is a God honest truth. When I beat my cousin forehead, because you know, you always want to, you know, beat the older, the old, you know, but I, I never could, because if you know you're scared if if he if you beat him or whatever, he's gonna beat you up. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, <laughs> yeah. But but I caught him at the neighborhood house. This is a for real story. I caught him at the neighborhood house and he challenged me. And I beat him. And I'm like, damn, I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then when I beat my daddy, you know what I'm saying? When I beat when I started beating my daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like little stuff like that. You know, that's what made me know. Like it was people that I had, I had vengeance for. I, I had it out for, you know, as I got mm -hmm. older, like, I'm gonna get y'all. Like, like one by one, I'm gonna get y'all one by one. When I started beating them. And then, you know, I started like, once I started dunking, then that's when I knew I was, cause elementary, you know, that was easy too. You know, everything was kind of easy though. You know, I ain't gonna lie. Do you lie. remember your first dunk? Yeah, yeah, you do? yeah, 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 yeah. First dunk, I mean, not the, not the first one, but I can tell you, like seventh grade, I couldn't dunk, and Keon Reed was the only one, you know, dunking at uh wherever because he had he was you know he he had us, but he was like six two, but he could jump, and I and I was taller than, but I couldn't get it in there. But by the April that summer, I did like five hundred calf raises a day, no lie. Everywhere I went, I was on my tippy toes doing calf raises, and and going into the eighth grade, uh, uh, that's when I. <laughs> Like once I started dunking all type of like it was crazy. Like my eighth grade year, then that's when I knew like, yeah, it's over. It's over. Like once I started dunking, I was averaging like five dunks a game, all different kinds. Alley oop, three sixty, two hand backwards, one hand, like all stupid stuff. Like an eighth grader shouldn't be doing. Like, like you shouldn't be doing this as an eighth grader. Like stuff like wow. that. It just came easy. Yeah, like like once my legs got up under me and I started flying, cause I had the ground game. You know, I still had game. But once I started jumping, mm -hmm. got, it was over then. Yeah, it was over. It was over. Okay. Well, I'm going to start showing you some pictures. Okay. So we're going to start with the first picture. And you tell me the first thing that comes to your mind when you see this picture. Here oh, we go. Man. Ah, we on, our, <laughs> uh, we on our way to uh, my, my uh, first game. I, I, was trying on my, I was trying on the warm up. You know, you got to try it on first to see how you look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was the day before my uh the eighth grade uh, uh first eighth grade game right there. Okay, right. and what school was you at, Weber? Weber, Weber. you know, you see yeah, that gold, that burgundy, and gold. I know, I know, I know, I know. See that burgundy you know, and gold I'm not from that type of environment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see that burgundy and gold in right there. But all right, now, now we finish. Yeah. We're gonna show another picture. Now I know hey. about this. <laughs> uh, now, now this, now this picture was was a uh, was kind of was a uh, Photoshop. It was Photoshop. Yeah, but 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 my partner had to use it for his for his for his uh you know my my, my little bro used it for his for his uh <laughs> song for his for his for his single. But okay. that's a fresh, that's really a Fresno State jersey. A Fresno State jersey. Yeah, yeah that's a Fresno. That was yeah that was a Fresno State jersey. I think I was that was like my sophomore year maybe sophomore year <laughs> sophomore look year. at there right, but so this right here ain't no um uh, photoshop oh no you know, <laughs> I, oh no i'm cabbage patching for sure you know <laughs> hey you know yeah, I'm, hey, the cabbage patch good. you know i'm giving it to him I, I think that was in the that was at michigan i think we probably won the regionals or the, the, the semis or something like that yeah I wow yeah that was my how old was you around this time Right here, I probably was a uh, fifteen, mm. fourteen, fifteen, probably fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, somewhere around there. So, is it really like once you got to BV, they just exploded? What? What you like? What you mean? I mean, what you mean? What I mean? <laughs> as like, what, far what, as the like, basketball, did they no, just start it? No, BV was always. BV always, you know, was good. You know, BV got history anyway. But but when I got there and once said Muriel got there, it was just, you know, it was, you know, and then we just added to what they had. Chester Searles, Vermont, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know, the other, the other cast that was there. But me and, you know, we just brought a whole new flair, a whole new, a whole new, a whole, a whole new flair to BV basketball. Now, okay. I, now I can't say that. I can't say that I actually brought a like a 
a whole new flair. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't saying that, you know, other people before me wasn't dunking and I ain't saying none of that, you know, I don't, you know, cause people love to, you know, love to, you know, say, you, you know, say, but as far as dunking, you know, as far as flash and, 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 and all, yeah, I can say I brought a whole new, a whole new, a whole new flair, you know? Okay. Okay. Well, we finna go ahead and get into a, um, our talent for the night. Um, this is guy is called Main Event. Okay. And it's called Let's Celebrate. I mean, what better song to play for tonight? It's called Let's Celebrate by the Main Event. He is here in Atlanta. Um, I hope you like the song. Here we go. I got old heads crashing out. I got young niggas crashing out, man. The young niggas, it's the blind following the blind, man. Twelve gonna do that job every time. Fuck them. Fuck twelve. They don't give a fuck about us. One give a fuck about them. When niggas touch down, it's a celebration, man. We gonna open niggas' eyes and we gonna show niggas it's a better way and it's another way. We don't need nobody but ourselves. Ten toes down. Word. Word. Let's celebrate for the ones who going through it and they feel like they can't make it out the store. Let's celebrate. Let's have a toast for the homies down the road and for the ones who dead and gone. Let's celebrate to the fact we finally made it, even though we had a couple niggas hating. Let's celebrate, even if we ain't got a reason shit, just celebrate. Feels good, we finally made it out. Having these dreams about 16s all on my granny couch. A couple mics in the pop field tag at my mammy house. I could have had a hoe, but I'm trying to see what these Grammys about. Had to get back to them later. Cause getting pussy never mixed with getting paper. And as a younger, you don't know if they love or hate you. I'm just trying to be a staple in this bit. Leave my mark when I'm in charge, like jumper cables in this bit. Let's get it started. I'm from the south side, Cali Park, we spell it with an F. Never waiting on the next one, we can do that shit ourselves. Slap box and barbecues and fucking shootouts. Gotta always keep your head on the swivel and shit when you out. I wasn't supposed to make it, I was supposed to be another damn statistic. Now I got them asking questions like, how the fuck this nigga winning? How he overcome that pain? How the fuck this nigga granted? It's only cause I spoke that shit into existence. So on that note, shit, let's celebrate. For the ones who going through it and they feel like they can't make it out the storm. Let's celebrate. Let's have a toast for the homies down the road and for the ones who dead and gone. Let's celebrate to the fact we finally made it. Even though we had a couple niggas hating. Let's celebrate. Even if we ain't got a reason shit, just celebrate. I got a homie coming home next week. Told him I got him. Don't you worry. Just stay on your feet. No going back to that hole in the wall. You know that system they designed. They be hoeing us all. They just want us to fall. Shit, they want us to fail. Don't give a damn if you ain't do it. They want in the bell. Box you in and get the plex and just want you to tell. Don't give a damn, so why should we? Got us breaking all these rules just to be free. A couple homies just be cancers, they cancel, so clap for em. Got some partners on some poetry shit, we gon' snap for em. A couple niggas always lying, so we throw on some caps for em. Couple youngers in the club, so we go through the back for em. A little bitch, she love to eat, so we buy all the snacks for em. Couple homies who been sober, we throw out the packs for em. Strippers trying to get through school, so we throw out some racks for em. It's a celebration, let me rap for em. And on that note, shit, let's celebrate. For the ones who going through it and they feel like they can't make it out the storm. Let's celebrate. Let's have a toast for the homies down the road and for the ones who dead and gone. Let's celebrate to the fact we finally made it. Even though we had a couple niggas hating. Let's celebrate. Even if we ain't got a reason shit, just celebrate. Hold on, I took myself off. All right, y'all. Now, I see right now you see your next surprise already. <laughs> Who's my next surprise? So we finna bring up your next surprise in the building, baby, mm. Mr. Julian Taylor. <laughs> what up, bro? Big, Big bro. bro. What's up, baby? <laughs> you all right? Can y'all hear me? Good, man. What's yes. up? We hear my you guy, fine. man. It's my guy, man. Me and Ro go way back, man. way back. I'm talking elementary. Man, I, I was older though. But our, our, our first camp together was at the neighborhood house, the Billy Ware camp. Yep, the Billy Ware camp. Yep, that's, that's where that's where we camp. met. That was the first camp. That was that was the that's when we first met for sure. Yeah. Like like six, I was like six. She was like probably about eight. 
Yeah, I was I was like I probably was 10, bro. You was yeah, because Donald was, <laughs> yeah. Donald was yeah. you yeah, Donald we was the was same like, size though. Right, right, right. <laughs> we were the same size. <laughs> I was like, man, who's this guy? Man, this guy, he got to be in the fifth or sixth grade, man. He was he in the I second grade. I I like, man, what? I'm in the fifth wow. grade. Same yeah. size. Yeah, I had I had a growth spurt. I had a I had a growth spurt. <laughs> I was always yeah, big and there talking to everybody. Wow. Yeah. So how have you helped um Terrence as far as through life and everything? Because you just gave us a, a different age bracket. You know what I'm saying? So how did when you I, what what place did you play in this? I, I always tried to be like a a big brother to Terrence. You know, he, he was younger than me. When he started coming around the AU program, you know, I, I kind of took him under my wing. And, and even, even you know, through high school, all that type of stuff, I always tried to be a positive role model. Show him, you know, show him the way, uh, how, how things going to be. You know, and he, he listened. You know, he listened. He learned because he looked up to us. We was like one of the first AAU programs. And, you know, he came and played with us a couple of times. I think we went to New York. Was it Terrence? We went to went to New York together. Yeah, Buffalo, New York. That's what yeah, Buffalo, New York. And he and we was eleven under. Yeah, and Terrence right. was yeah, Terrence played with us, you know. And so I think it was uh some dudes tried to rough Terrence up and we wasn't having it. You know, right. we know he was younger. Right, right. You know, so right. we can't we can't, you know, so I always always try to be there for Terrence, but you know, be a positive role model for him and you know, somebody he can look up to, try to point him in the right direction. Hey, you mm -hmm. was there when I first got my ACT, my SAT scores. Remember, we yep. was at the Valley. Yep. Yeah, at the Valley. I, 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 yep, I got you to work the camp. I, yeah, you know, I got to put you on the work the camp. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you was there with him throughout the time at BV and everything. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I, at that time, I, I had already graduated and I was in college at that time. Mm -hmm. So I had I had I used to hear, you know, because at when, when we in high school and he was in middle school, I didn't get a chance to go see his games because we had games, mm -hmm. you know, and things like that. So I used to hear about him, but then when I came back from college and I got a chance to see his him play uh Fendo Western at B at, at the Civic Center. Ooh. Yeah, at the Civic Center. <laughs> and it, was a, it was the first play of the game. I'm, I'm hearing you know, you know, you come back, you hearing because you know we wanted him to come to the high. We went to Saginaw High, but you know, that was little bro. I still had to support him. So uh, when I when I uh went to that game and the first play of the game. He, uh, Chester Searle shot a shot a mid range shot, came off the rim, and I think Leon Derricks was was like the number one player in the state. Mm -hmm. And if Terrence ain't dunk on him coming off the rim, I was like, oh, <laughs> nasty. That dude. was nasty. And then pulled himself all the way up. I said, I was oh, I was he was a freshman. My my guy, the guy was number one senior. I wow. said, oh, he ready. I said, oh, they rocking. I was like, okay, BV, he right. BV, he, they brought that flair to BV because BV was like, you know. And BV was a, a great program, but they, you know, they played kind of like robot, you know, discipline, very disciplined. But they brought that flair to BV. They had they had the city rocking. All right, all right. Now I have one more surprise for you before um we play your next clip. Right. So we're gonna bring up your next surprise. It's two good ones right here. This two great ones right here. Here you go the next great surprise. Ones right here yeah, you got two great one. ones, yeah. Uh, 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 there, you uh, there you go. It's trying to come up. He trying to come up in the building. We got Punch out in the building. Let's see which one gonna play. We got two of them up up here, so we are gonna see which one gonna play. He, he having some internet issues. He having some internet issues. That's okay, Punch. Are you get get it together? Get it together. Oh, get it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The show must go on, Julia. The show. Must yeah, go you gotta on. go on. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get into this next clip, okay? All right, Julian, would you like to stay up with us for the remote rest of the show? Yeah, I'm gonna stay up a little bit. Yes, bit. yes, yeah. yes. Well, here go the next clip. Roberson was the seventh ranked high school player in the nation in the 1995 class, headlined by Kevin Garnett, and he was the jewel of the Michigan class, which was considered at the time to be the best ever. But with the personal accolades rolling in, his personal life began spiraling out of control. I just started doing things that I knew I wasn't supposed to do. I probably was doing them my first two years, but they was undercover. By my junior year and my senior year, I didn't care who I did in the front of. By my senior year, it, it was it was it was it was it was a tragedy by there. I didn't have really nobody, you know, taking me to 
you know, to the gym saying, go shoot a thousand shots. But I had a lot of people saying, he go a hundred dollars. He go this bag of weed. He go a drink. He go a car. Jared says marijuana use completely changed his attitude. And with BV losing games for the first time in his career, things came to a head in the 1995 regular season finale against the eventual Class A state champ, Flint Northern. Roberson was pulled late in the game for shooting a three after head coach Norwayne Reed asked him not to. The pair then got into a verbal altercation on the bench. He told me if I didn't like what he was saying to leave. And like I said, my emotions took over. My emotions, emotions took over. And I just took my jersey off and left. Worst mistake I ever did. Worst mistake I ever did. Roberson was kicked off the team. His career at Univista was over, and the once favorite to win the Mr. Basketball Award was completely left off the ballot. He was also left off the McDonald's All-American team. Terrence was labeled a head case, and with a low ACT score, major colleges, like his dream school, Michigan, began losing interest. It just goes to show you, man, one, one incident can ruin your whole life. That's all it takes is one. You could be on top of the world, and you do one thing, one thing. You don't even gotta be just one thing. Your whole world can come clashing. I lost everything. You no know, McDonald's All American. That was big to me. You know, it's all my life. I went to go see Mark Macon at the McDonald's All American in Philly when he won the MVP. And that day, I just told myself, I'm gonna be in this game. I'm gonna be here. I ain't have really nobody, you know, taking me to, you know, to the gym saying, go shoot a thousand shots. But I had a lot of people saying, he go a hundred dollars. He go this bag of weed. He go a drink. He go a car. All right. 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 There was a lot of layers to that video. All right. All right. A lot of layers. To right. that video, um, the part that stuck out to me the most was I felt like you were so genuine and so real when you said one mistake, one mistake, one thing that you can do can tear everything down. Oh yeah, no question, no question. You know when I when I took that jersey off, you know, you know I, I already had a little, you know. You know, people, you know, talking here and there's like I say, when they when they showed the Robeson Star Ro BB Star Rose, you know, that wasn't in no Saginaw paper. That was in the Detroit Free Press. You know what I'm saying? That was big. Like, you know, you don't just make the Detroit Free Press. You know, back in my day, the Detroit Free Press was like the USA Today. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like that was big yeah. for for a Saginaw kid to make the Detroit mm -hmm. paper, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you know, it was it was you know, it was just it was just big, you know? It was just, man. Now, how did you feel when they told you? Did they call you and tell you you ain't finna get How did they tell you? What you mean? You know, I, talk, I told you we was going to dig deep into this. Yeah, no. How did they tell you that you weren't going to get this stuff? The McDonald thing and all that. They called you? you yeah, I, yeah. Well, actually, actually, I actually found out about the McDonald's All-American thing through the uh, USA Today. Cause me and my man uh, Vontigo Cummins, we uh, both didn't make it. He went to Pittsburgh. He was from Atlanta, and he didn't make it neither because he had a little charge or whatever coming out of high school. But yeah, you know, it was yeah. You know, I lost Mister Basketball. You know, I I was like fifth or something. You know, knowing knowing that you know in, in my heart, you know, because we had we had you know tractor the trail and Albert White, my baby Albert White. You know, they was doing work, but. If you had to ask me, you know, I, I felt like I was the number one player in the class of 95, you know, coming out of Michigan. You know, that's just how I feel. But I lost a lot of stuff, man, just 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 off that one thing, just taking that off, off that jersey. But it was a lot that played, you know. You know, when I'm sure I, it was. It was a lot to yeah, because people just see me take that jersey off and walk off the floor, but nobody really know like what led to that. Like, like it was a lot, it was a lot into that. Like it wasn't just me and him got into it right then. It was it was shit that was built up like from 
from like I say, my junior year, you know what I'm saying? When we lost the ish for me, Westwood. You know what I'm saying? Like we we was the number one team in the state. Like we was 22 and one. Only only game we lost was in down in Sandusky. Mm-hmm. And oh you know, like like we was like we was number one and they came down here and you know it was just you know how they how they beat us or whatever. It was you know, people just don't know. It was it was worse during that game, you know, it was like how I felt like mm-hmm. I, I felt like like he he, he he like stripped me, stripped me, stripped me of being me that game, like that game right there. Like, like, kind of messed me up. I ain't gonna lie. Like when he t- when you took the jersey, I off. cried like a baby. I cried for about a week straight. I cried like a baby. We was the we was the best team in the state. My man Albert White probably watching. He'll say Inkster was because they was they was like number two, but we was popping Shane Batty ate them in Country Day. Like we was like we was nice, and that game right there, he just you know I, I ran off like six straight. We was down a six. I never forget it. Down a six. I, I ran off three straight. Wow, wow, wow. They call a timeout. I get in the huddle. He say, don't flash to the high post no more. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm killing. Like, the tallest player on their team was 6'2". Couldn't guard me. And this, this is a true story. <laughs> I'm <laughs> killing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm killing it. This, this, this uncut, unraw right here, this is the God honest truth right here. People don't know. That's why I'm saying. Like, people just judge and don't know. And he told me, don't flash no more. He said, out his words, Chester, shoot. All the balls. That's what he said. Chester, mm-hmm. shoot all the balls. And Chet, you know, anybody know Chet? Chet, you got that look on his face like, he said, do you hear me? We go out there after the huddle. Chet shot a 26-footer. This is the God on his truth. It hit the bottom of the backboard. No lie. I swear to God. It didn't even hit the backboard. It hit the cushion part. You know, the little cushion part? It hit mm-hmm. the little foam part. And he shot like nine straight in a row, and it was over. They was running the shit out of us. They was we we, we was missing. They was running for real. Okay, man. now before you go any further, would these two visitors know about this situation? We got Puncho in the building. Yeah, <laughs> he the one. He the one who passed Chester the ball for him to shoot the twenty six foot. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We got yeah. one more person in the building right. just as well. We got one more person. And we got Mr. Corey Chandler in the building oh, just as well, Chad. baby. <laughs> see, Chad, what's up, baby? What's up, my brother? Man, I'm cooling, man. What's up? Man, I can't call it, bro. I can't call it. Oh, yeah. We on here deep. Oh, we yes, on here deep. Oh, this uncut roughly. Oh, yeah, this uncut and raw tonight. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, so... Cut. Like you were saying, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, but, but yeah, but that's that's just how I, that's just how it went. That's that's just how it went. That's just how. So it went. you got angry. You took off your jersey. Yeah, you I got off. angry. I see. I only got angry because that summer, like Puncho can vouch for this. I stopped playing AAU. He still was playing. He still was going. To, he still was going to trip. My senior year, I stopped playing AAU and just stayed in the gym and was working on my game because he told me he was going to let me just be me. He was going to let me shoot the three. I was going to be able to handle, you know, you know what I'm saying? So Punch still was playing with Team Michigan, you know, so I, I, I ain't even played. So that whole that whole summer, whatever, I was just working on my game. And we went to Flint Northern that summer, and I gave him like 38. 30, I mean, I was balling. I'm, I'm balling. Balling. So this game, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the last game of the season. Like, so... It was just a lot going on. They 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 jumped out on us. They jumped on us tough. They like they had us down like thirty two at halftime, and I jumped. You know what I'm saying? They got niggas running on running on I flow with red rags running to I B V night, stumping after they team dunk. Like it was. I ain't never been that much embarrassed in my life. Like, <laughs> no, nah, like you know what I'm saying? Like that was real. Like they disrespected us to the heart. They, they was so. They were so disrespectful that night. And see me, like I say, like I can lose the Bay City, I can lose the Traverse City, I I can't lose the Flint and Detroit. Them two teams that crush my heart if I lose to. Like that's just that that was just me, you know. So that game was special to me, and and and, and I, I just felt like Coach Reed stripped me of that though. And so we got into Corey, it. how you feel about that? And then he, and then and then he cut my baby. <laughs> then he cut my baby a senior year on some dumb shit. Man, I was I was bullied though, bro. I, I was I was trying to be in the streets and I wouldn't take care of what I needed to take care of in the gym, man. Like 
It was just part of being young, you know what I'm saying? Right on. Mm-hmm. That's what it was, bro. No, nah, but you don't. No, nah, no, nah, yeah, whatever. But you don't. Man, you got you got a championship as a ninth grader, tenth grader. You played as an eleventh grader. Streets or not, it was there. Like he had a couple people that was in the street, and then he cut you your senior year. That made you more in the street. He, then he was a, he was a probation officer, so he shouldn't have wanted you to go that route. Yeah, but and they, I agree with you 100 with it. Real talk. Why you gonna force a kid to the street when you already know what type of you know what I'm saying deal it is? If you're gonna keep him that long, you might as well keep him for the whole the whole go around. But bro, it wasn't about you, bro. He cut you because of me, bro. I don't care. I don't care what nobody say. He cut you because of me, bro. And that's real talk. That's real. He cut you to get to me because it was a lot of inside stuff going on, bro. Right. So bro. when so say listen to this. So when you took that jersey off, did you know that it was the end for you? That I you weren't gonna be able to get back on the team. Another, the, you just go ahead. Well, at that point, well, at that point, I ain't, I ain't really care because, like I say, I was gone. Like, like because at halftime of the game, I just felt like he quit on us. And so you know what I'm saying. You know, I can read. I don't know word for word, but I can vaguely remember him saying something like, "Like I'm done." Or, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, whatever. And, and I can remember me saying, "Fuck it." You know what I'm saying? We don't need him, y'all. Let's go. I think we got this shit. Woo, 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 woo. And so we come back upstairs. We down 32. We going to 16 no run. Now we down 16. You know what I'm saying? We came out balling. You know what I'm saying? We came out balling. Like, like we came out with a whole nother. And so, yeah. But when I took the jersey out, I ain't really care. You know, I ain't really care. Like it was, it was. I, cause I feel like I just had enough. You know what I'm saying? I had had enough anyway. So it was. I ain't really, but I, like I say, it was, I was my emotion, you know, all that, you know, you don't really look mm-hmm. at it until the next day, until the next day, but, but we called Coach Reed, you know, you know, people don't know, we called Coach Reed, me and Dr. Mason, we called mm-hmm. him the next day, and she said, you know, Terrence want to apologize, she, and he was like, uh, he can apologize, but I'm going to tell you this, if you let him back on the team, I'm resigning today, and she, wow. and, and, and she pushed the pause button. And she said, do you want to play? And I was like, no, nah, I don't want to play. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Because I was having too much press. I ain't want that. That was going to be too much press. Coach Reed resigned because of me. Like, that was too – I ain't want that heat. That was too much heat. I ain't want that. I heat. mean, okay. when I tell you I did some research, I was reading stuff, and I'm like, oh, this shit was damn serious. This was yeah. like some real serious, yeah. serious, serious yeah. shit. Some of the things yeah. that Coach Reed said and everything. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I reached out. I'm like, I reached out and tried to find Coach Reed. I did. And people wouldn't even respond back to me. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't even he respond was, back to me. He wasn't on my documentary. So I, he, I, and, I, and I saw the documentary. So documentary. I did see it. Now, I got some more pictures. We're going right. to show some more pictures. Um, here's one right here. And I want Puncho and uh, Corey Chandler. I want y'all opinion on this too. Uh how do y'all feel <laughs> looking at this shit right here? <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that comes to your mind, we're gonna start with Corey. Corey, what's the first thing that come to your mind when you see this? Man. Which one? First, first thing that came to my mind is that we did it. We finna party. Wait till we get back to the side. <laughs> well, Puncho, what about you? Man, I, hey, I got me one. <laughs> <laughs> I got me one. What's up, fellas? Man, what's, what's up, up Puncho? What's up, baby? Punch? Man, what's up, baby? Hey, man, listen, man. It's, Dude, what's up? What up? What up, see? I'm tripping, man. It, it, I'm, I'm down here. Y'all already know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, so, hey, it ain't no secret what I'm doing. I'm in here oh. with the team. That's why it's oh. so loud where I'm at. Oh, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> you but, are good. You, you are know good. what it is, baby. You know how I'm getting down. I'm in Indiana. But uh T man, number love, my guy. Well, you you already... I, I, it, it was nothing but a pleasure to get on, on here with you, man. man. I told my team I, I gotta hurry up and get a check in because I gotta be online by nine. <laughs> they didn't even understand. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, glad you tuned in, baby. Shit. We came from the second grade, nigga, from Kempton, nigga. See, yeah. people don't know that. We was at Kempton before we before we came anywhere. Right. 
So and Pancho, your name was literally the first name person that he mentioned when we start talking about this whole basketball thing. Your name was the first name that he mentioned. And I was like, oh shit, I got Pancho coming up here too. Yeah, we, we, we grinded for a long time together. Like we grinded for a long, long time together. She right. was the reason I went to Buena Vista. I had to make a hard decision. You know, because wow. I mean so I you had, had to, to make a hard decision just as well. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't the easy one. Then you you know you realize when you're in the city of Sacramento, you go to wherever you go from wherever the unit, I mean Sacramento High, and you you played in all the summer festivals at the high. Now you got to turn your back, like I got to go over here, my man over here. I got to go over here. That was a tough decision, you know. And it's like yeah, you they was, they was next up. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, that's what I'm telling them, man. That that uh, decision ain't, ain't it wasn't easy, man. Yeah. But mine wow. was. Kind of, Mine was kind of easy because I, I wasn't staying in junior high no more. I was out there. <laughs> yeah, said, I mean, Damn it, I got a chance to be a little bit growner. I'm gone. Miss Ford, Miss Ford wasn't kissing me on my cheek no more. So that was enough for the kissing. <laughs> You ain't want them paddles on you. You hey, took hey, the kids, huh? Hey, enough was enough. Enough was enough. Miss Ford was not kissing me no more. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Now I have another picture that I'm gonna show. I got a couple more. Here's this one. What is the first thing you oh, think of man. when you see That's this? That's my baby. That's my baby. That's, That's my baby. baby. Tay. That's Tay. I just got the phone with you, buddy, about an hour ago. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 yeah, I was, I was young, I was young, you know, I ain't, I ain't know how to be no dad, I ain't know how to, you know, I ain't, hey, I was young, man, I was, but hey, that's, that's my man to this day, so. Wow, so apparently you did something right. Right, 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 right. You did definitely. something right, definitely. you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's definitely, definitely. Now what about this? Look at that hand. Yeah, they they caught me in the pole. <laughs> I was just shooting a shot. I was just shooting dirt. We had we had a summer league. Pastor used to bring his league down from Flint, and so mm -hmm. they caught me. Yeah, they just caught me shooting on that one. Okay, okay. Now I'm finna show this next picture. Now, and I'm glad that you all are up here when I show this one, because I'm not only am I going to show it, I'm going to read just a little bit of it. And once I read a little bit of it, I got a clip that I have to show. OK, so before right. anybody say anything, I'm just going to read it and then I'm going to play this clip. So here we go. Here's the picture. Uh, yeah, I had the feeling you would. You would probably uh, say, uh, or look some type of way. I, uh, when you I, uh, see I uh, did this article on uh, Randolph. You did it on Randolph? Yeah. They came yeah. to the hood. Hey, that's not crazy. I'm telling you, Detroit I'm telling you, this shit was real. This, he's not lying. This shit was so real. Like, Terrence, you could really make a movie off of this shit. You right. really can. I actually did yeah. this article right here in my cousin D Bird and Chucky house, right, right there on Randolph. Uh -huh. When they stayed where they stayed out for real. Now no, I, I, I had the Detroit Free Fest pull up in the hood. I understand, you know, but it's unfortunate. <laughs> it's unfortunate that I'm not finna read shit that you wrote. Okay. <laughs> or what you had to say. <laughs> yeah, I I'll just be uh -huh. honest. I'm not gonna read nothing that you just say that you said, okay? Because right, right. this right here stuck out to me when I read this. Now y'all can see it. It says now it's kind of blurry for me too. I can see it. I can see it. Now it say? say after the game, Reed told players their next practice was Thursday, except for Robert Roberson. He was finished. He <laughs> <laughs> he cause what's that? He conscious. Oh, my conscience was getting to me, Robertson said. Oh, there you go. You do have something in here. Sorry. Robertson said, I called him and told him I was sorry for my actions. I asked if I could get back on the team, and he said he didn't think so. That ended a tremendous four-year relationship with Reed, one of the state's most successful coaches. Reed resigned 
after Benavista lost in the opening round of the state tournament. Go, Preston Though he Park. said, hold on. Though he said, his, now, because at first, I, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me stop right there. Because at first, I was feeling sorry for Coach Ray. I feel sorry for him for a minute. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. I feel sorry. When I kept doing my research, I would feel sorry for this man. You know? But and even if he could have came on here, I was still going to read this article and say what I got to say. But right. let me finish. Now, uh, let me see. Reed resigned after Buena Vista lost in the opening round of the state tournament. Though he said his action did not even, I mean, did not seem from the incident with Roberson. Reed leaves Buena Vista with four state titles and seven trips to the championship game in 19 seasons. Reed, a probation officer for Saginaw Juvenile Court, has difficulty explaining uh, Robeson's problems. Your problems. Right. That's good. A- hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm almost at the end because this is the part right here. That's a good question. That's the that's the best question, Reed said. I'm not around the kids 24 hours. I'm not with Terrence in the streets. He's out and about a lot. Through, through, uh, I don't know what that word is. I can't see. But Reed paints Robeson a troubled youth. A year ago, Reed told a reporter, I wouldn't be surprised if he ended up dead or in jail. Damn. I just had to say that. <laughs> I had to say that. I don't know if you read that. I forgot. I forgot about that shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, when I read it, I didn't yeah. forget about it. And the reason why, and I'm not I'm not trying to start nothing or nothing like that. My show for Corey, Poncho, and Julian, T Robe knows a little bit more about my show than y'all. But with my show, I discuss crime. Crime all over the United States, um, in our black community. <laughs> and it's so many young men going to prison going to jail for doing things that they're not supposed to do true enough, but they have people like what Coach Reed just said in their ear all the time, and they don't have nobody positive. You know what I'm saying? Now, Terrence, I'm not saying you ain't had nobody positive. I ain't saying it. No, no, no. I but know. it's a lot of people, young men out there that don't have nobody positive. The, they have the only- nothing to live for. The only Go thing ahead. I was the only thing I was doing for real. The only thing I and, and, and Corey can vouch for this, you know what I'm saying? Punch can vouch for this. The only exclusive, thing, exclusive. The only, thing, the only thing I was doing that Reed didn't like, because I, I wasn't no I wasn't no street kid. I, I wasn't out there, you know what I'm saying, selling no dope or nothing like that. I just was getting high. I was smoking weed, a gang of weed. That's all I wanted to do was just play basketball, you know what I'm saying, and 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 and, and, and smoke weed. And see, back then, we was considered as dope. You smoking dope, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. that, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it, it, it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Just being real, just, yeah. you know, all the older people, you know, you know, they, they even even my daddy, you know what I'm saying? He was, you know, he was even, you know what I'm saying, on me or whatever. But that's the only thing I was doing. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't just out here. And then, you know, I had, I had a couple, you know, people, you know, that didn't have regular jobs that, you know, were street guys that, you know, just used to give me stuff. You know what I'm saying? Used to look look out for me. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't have to sell drugs. And, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They, ain't had, they ain't never had me with them when they was doing when they was do their thing. They drop me off and tell me to go on. So, you know, it was it was you know for him to say that though. I I don't know if I you know I I kind of now I I remember him saying that in the paper, but I don't I kind I don't know. I don't know if he said that, but if he did, I mean, you know, I don't know, but well, you said yourself that sometimes that the papers. And the news can twist things up on what they say. And I have that right here that you said that. So just one second. Hold on. Right, right, right. Because you, yeah, you did say that. So hold on. Here we go right now. Um, Coach Reed, I don't know coaching, but you know, the paper, you know, when you when you when you say something in the paper, you know, it kind of it kind of gets sermon like, you know, he said some good things about Coach Reed, but I just want. I wish he was here because Coach Reed taught me a lot. You know, he prepared me for high school. I mean, I mean college. I'm sorry. He prepared me for college and high school. But you know, Coach Reed was the type of coach where, you know, 
we share back to back titles together. We won 49 games in a row together. That's we almost had the record, which was 52. Um, you know, coach was one of the best coaches I had, and I just wanted to let him know, you know, whatever happened back in the day, you know, I walked off on the big stage on him, and I just wish he was here today so I can tell him I was sorry on this big stage here tonight, you know, so. Terrence, All right. you was really hurt behind this shit. Yeah, because because when you get older, man, you go, you know, you 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 see di- you, you see stuff in a in a whole different yep. a whole different light. You know what I'm saying? It's like I told you, that shit was big, man. Like like my like 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 it it was big. Like it was almost too much for me, man. Like it was it was a lot for a teenager to go through. Like I say, like I'm beefing with my daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm staying with my grandmama. You know what I'm saying? Then I coach Reed and my daddy beefing because he want me to do one thing. My daddy telling me to do another thing. So that's where the beef kind of went in with Coach Reed and my daddy. You know what I'm saying? So then it trickled down to me. But I had a lot going on, man. I had a lot going on in high school, a whole lot. Julian, you know? do you agree with him? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Looking back on it, uh, Terrence was a rock star. You know, Terrence was a rock star. And, and uh, that's a lot for, for a, a teenager to go through. You know, he had all type of... Uh, Females, grown and 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 uh, <laughs> and in high school. Look, at, woman. look, Cor, look, yeah, Cor. for real. For so, Cor, so that's a lot. Cor, like, yeah, that nigga had it all. He had it all. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, and then, you know, to be an All American. On top of that, everything, everything was 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 glorified. If he did something wrong, it was glorified. You know, I, he, mm-hmm. you know, looking back, me being a coach right now, I wouldn't kick him off the team at that time. He'd have got punished, but he wouldn't have been kicked off the team. You know, he wouldn't have been kicked off. I want to turn my back on him. That was the first, that was the first incident me and Coach Reed ever had. We never even had words ever in my four years of playing under him. That was the first time we ever had. That was the first time we ever had anything. Like that was the first time, like any blow up, any argument, any anything, any talk back, any anything. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, that was the first time. That was the first and, time. And, 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 the, and, the, and the crazy part about it wasn't that shit. I, I was in the game. It was not that shit. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, for you to we down 30, we getting back in the game, and because somebody don't want to go to the block, you blow up. It, <laughs> it wasn't that shit. Even when the players tried to go back to him before Dr. Mason called, like, coach, we're going into the playoffs. Can we get T back? He cussed us out. Y'all think y'all need that? No, it ain't about needing us, but we've been rapping for a long time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and, and you mad. I think it was deeper than what than what the basketball game was, to my personal opinion. It was. It was it was you t- know <laughs> you where <laughs> It all, that shit it all, didn't warrant for no kickoff. Like that, that didn't started, warrant you to get suspended for nothing. Right? It all started when I didn't go to the ABCD camp in New Jersey, and I decided to go to Nike with KG and them, and that's when all hell broke loose. You decided to go where? See, see I was I was under this, <laughs> I was under this guy named Sonny Vaccaro when I was coming to my ninth grade year, and I went to a camp in Pasadena. And this kind of Pasadena, they had all the heavy hitters there. You know, Charles O'Banney, Marcus Cam. They just had a lot of head Felipe Lopez. And we had like eight people from Michigan. Me, Chester Searles. Uh, then, and then you had the Ben Harbor boys, Marcus Singer, Corey Childs, Prentice Magruder. And then you had, uh, who else was, oh, and then you had the Persian boys, Willie Mitchell, Carlos Williams, and Ty Burton. So we had eight people from Michigan go to this camp. And we was down there rocking. So the next year, because I, I did so good as a freshman going in, I dominated. I was I was killing for my age. Like I'm I'm all-star, me and Chester made the all-star team. So the next year, Nike came calling. And so my daddy, like, you know, make it, you know, you want to make a choice. But Reed, like, no, you gotta go with Sonny Vaccaro. And, and you know, to know my daddy, my, my daddy like, fuck that. Like, hell no, motherfucker, Sonny ain't making no motherfucker. You know, my daddy, my, <laughs> my daddy, my daddy, daddy, you know what I'm saying? Shit, my motherfucker, Sonny ain't putting no motherfucker food on my table, shit. <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? But, but you know, but you know, you gotta know my daddy, you know what I'm saying? But, but Sonny, but I was, I was coming home, hey, I was coming home 
like at the school and I have a box with like 12 pairs of shoes. I was going to school selling shoes and and, 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 and having clothes. All, all that Sunday was hooking me up. And so when I decided to go to Nike, that's when all hell broke loose. That's when, that's when Reed, that's when, that's when shit got different. Cause him and Sonny was cool, you know what I'm saying? And, and he told me, I, you know, he told me I needed to be loyal to Sonny and go to the camp in New Jersey. And when I didn't, that's when all hell broke loose. Mm. And that's real. That's that's real. Like that's that, and that's and that's real shit. Okay. Another exclusive. Another exclusive on PGT <laughs> Tap. <laughs> now I'm finna ask Puncho and um, Corey a question. Do and I. This is not for T. Raw. This is not for Julian. This is just for the two of y'all. Do you feel like Coach Reed regretted what he did? We would, we, would, we would never know. We would. We would never know. I'm. I'm gonna punch on that one. Like we. 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 we it, that's a hard question to answer because he showed no emotions, and 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 he he no plays as if nothing matters to him. Yeah. So you would yeah. never know. That's a good question, but you would never know. He he gonna wow. take it to his grave if it do. Yeah, he wasn't that. I don't know. He wasn't that type of person. Like he didn't, like you say, he didn't respect stuff. You know what I'm saying? His communication with us, like, wasn't good. If it wasn't about basketball, that was it. Wow. Well, we got another clip that we got to show. Right. Um, Pancho and Corey, did you all know Terrence's mother? Have y'all ever met her before? Before she passed away? I'm a so person that I never had to play. I'm a so I used to sleep at T House. <laughs> 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 I used to have to go to church with T. <laughs> right on. Right on. Well, it was, I am it was glad. In basketball with me and T. <laughs> right. That's what I'm right. talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And Julian, you met his mom as well. <laughs> Julian. Oh, okay. I didn't know. If it, I couldn't hear him. Okay, so before we get into the segment of um, Terrence and his mom, we're gonna go ahead. And yeah, I met his mom. Okay, there you go. There you go. Are we breaking up. I can't. I can't hear y'all on the. Okay, what you can do is go down and come back up while we go into these commercials, right quick. We're gonna go ahead. Yeah, I met his mom. Okay, yeah, go, go down and come back up, and then turn your volume down on your phone. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna go to these commercials right quick. Here we go.
from two to four. Two to four p.m. Two hours, baby. Yes, I'm on my way. Yes, this is what the kisses. Pulse around that. <laughs> Pulse around that. <laughs> Terrence had people trying to steer him in the right direction, like his father and uncle. But the person he really wanted and needed by his side was taken right in front of him when he was 11 years old. And my mom, you know, she was real church going. She did hair. You know, uh, she had her own beauty salon. She was 31 years old, real successful. We go to church and she up talking. It was her, it was her night. We fellowship with another church. And she just was up talking and uh, she telling everybody she loved, you know, how does she love me? And, you know, how she tell me she loved me and, you know, tell your kids that you love them. And it's all about love, everything about love, everything about parents and kids and, you know, everything, the whole nine. And all of a sudden she just say, I'm coming. I'm coming. I got a couple more things to say and I'm coming. And uh, she said a couple more things and, oh, man. She uh, she said a couple more things, and then she just fell dead. She just fell. She just fell to the floor, and uh, and uh, you just don't know. Like it's like a movie, man. It's like you wouldn't you wouldn't understand until you go through it, you know. So I walk up on her, and I'm just. Just looking at her, you know, they got her blouse open and she ain't moving. She just, she's just there. And, uh, yeah, that was it. That was the, that was it, man. We get to the hospital and wasn't nothing they could do for her. They just basically said she had a heart attack. And, uh, right then, that's, that's when, that's when everything just took a turn, man. I don't know. That's when, you know, that's when everything just took a turn. Man. All right. We are back. We are back. We are back. Um, Terrence, you ain't know I was going to play that. I know you ain't know I was going to play that. But can we can't hear you. So can you? Okay. Now talk. No, we can't hear you. Go down and come back up. Go down and come back up. Yep, go down and come back up. Look, the baby's saying bye. <laughs> yeah, go down. I'll go down for him. But he's going to have to come back up. So, Corey. Yes, ma'am. How did you feel? Have you ever seen him that vulnerable? No, like that. never. Not my bro. I ain't. I ain't never seen him like that. You ain't never seen him like that. How did never that make seen, you I've feel? Never seen him like that. Yeah, um, that was a sad situation. That was a very, yeah. very sad situation. Yeah, I'm trying because with boys, yeah. with boys, we mama's boy. I got yeah. a similar situation. My father passed, but that was later on. But I know what he. I know how he feel. You know what I'm saying? But it's a different thing. With mom, they take a piece of right. you. Right. Yeah, uh, Puncho, how about you? Have you seen him like that before? When it happened, um, I was around when it happened. Oh, you it was, was around when it happened? Yeah, it was a real emotional situation. Um, you know, knowing you had just me personally, I had just you know seen her, she had just. She called me her son. I mean, I mean, T like was like brother. Like when I tell you, we grew up together from second grade from Kempton to Salina to Weber to Buena Vista. That's that's how long we've been in it. So it was like him losing his mom, me losing my mom. You know what I'm saying? So on Saturday morning, you know she she making sure we good on Friday night. She coming to the house to pick me up, like. Make sure you got all your stuff. And, and she treated everybody with love and respect, you know. So, I mean, it, 
it was real touchy for him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I remember he was getting ready for a game. You know, he, he really didn't want to do it. And I told him, like, bro, I mean, what mine to say? It, it, we got to go play this one for her. You know, and it was real touchy. You know. How soon um, was that game? It was it was the next week. We didn't wow. get breaks. <laughs> wow. We didn't get breaks. You know, so he went out there with a heavy heart. And, and, and thank God for Grandma Susie. She, I, you know, I don't know how much y'all talked about Grandma Susie, but Grandma Susie kept it together. Like, yeah. so she, Terrence, you how you feel about? <laughs> how did you feel about seeing that? Oh, I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Huh, yes, we, we can oh. hear the baby, and we can hear the baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she, yeah, she's something else. <laughs> you got to make sure you show her in the camera too, so we can see her. But how did you feel? He's seeing that clip. Uh, you know, every time I see it, you know, every time I see it, that clip or talk about it, you know, it always brings. It's always an e e emotional, emotional, you know, thing. But you know, it was, it was, it was hard. You know, just to be there. You know, it ain't like I got a phone call or something. You know, what I'm saying like, like all the way up until I woke my, just woke up that that morning. You know, what I'm saying like her coming downstairs and asking me about a video game, like like stupid shit like that. Like, cause she ain't never asked me about no no game before she just used to buy them you know what i'm saying so it's mm -hmm. like like what made her just come this morning and just ask me to go down to sherman house and get my game and all that like it was it was like oh uh, you know to me it was like she knew she was gonna die this day like it was because everything she did she did like one time she nursed for the first time you know what i'm saying she she you know it was it was just a you know got a video camera at the church videotape you know got everybody my grandma and them to come from detroit you know, down, she had everybody in one setting, you know, and then we had to go fellowship with another church. So at, you know, about six o'clock, we went to the other church, but you know, on the 20th, and, you know, she up, you know, she had to speak, you know, and, you know, it was just, when she got up there, she just, she was talking and it was just like, man, you know, and she tell you, you know, like I say, she was talking about love and how, you know, talk to your kids and how, you know, she tell me she loved me, but she had chastised me when I do wrong and, you know, stuff like that. And, just all of a sudden, she just said, I got a couple more things to say, and I'm coming. You know, oh, and, and it was like, you know, you know, people, you know, it was like, all right, you know, and she was like, I got a couple more things to say, and I'm coming. I'm coming. I got a couple more things to say. And she said what she had to say, and then she just said, oh, God, I'm getting weak. And she just fell. You know, she just fell off the stage, you know, knocked, knocked off the, the mic, the podium, and just fell on the ground, you know what I'm saying? And. You know, me being like in the seventh, like in the seventh row, you know, it was just like, it was like, damn, you know, it was like, you don't, you don't, you don't think this shit about to happen to you. You know, it was like, damn, like, what the fuck? Like, damn, like, so I get up out my seat and I go in the, in the aisle, you know, and it was like, don't nobody move. Like, everybody just, everybody standing up, but don't nobody come in the aisle. And it was just like me walking down the damn aisle by myself like you know what i'm saying like just like some movie type shit like mm -hmm. i'm just walking down the aisle everybody looking at me walk down the aisle and i'm just like damn like so when i get on her they got her they got her blouse open and she just eyes closed and she just you know and i'm just looking at her you know what i'm saying i'm like damn like what the fuck, you know what i'm saying now so when that happened do you remember that things start going taking the turn at that point like nah. did you start spiraling out of control or you still was no nah, right no nah, i was no nah, i was good i was young i was 11. i was mm -hmm. 11 so i still i was still I, I wasn't even smoking you know what i'm saying i wasn't i wasn't having sex i wasn't you know what i'm saying i still was i still was good i still was at holding you know what i'm saying so i i wasn't doing none of that i was you know i was i was straight it was it was just you know it was it was that during 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 that time it was more 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 family more family bullshit going on mm -hmm. arguing over my mama money and shit you know what i'm saying you feel what i'm saying because my mama was 31 but she was six figures for sure no questions i don't can nobody tell me that she wasn't <laughs> <laughs> look, punch out. Look, punch out. Punch out like she <laughs> she'll pay. Them facts. Them facts. You know what I'm saying? Shit. One of the first with the meat toast. Man, I tell you, with the, 
with the with the Artie five thousand big boy Artie five thousand. You know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> yeah, you wow. know what I'm saying. So you know, like, like I ain't you know like to me shit. I I ain't I ain't really had no like. I had I had a damn good you know what I'm saying childhood. You know what I'm saying eleven years mm -hmm. in my mind, but it but no it, it didn't it didn't it didn't. It ain't really start, you know, getting crazy until like like high school. Okay. But that's when, that's that's when that's when stuff started, you know. Now, when your mom passed away, you went and stayed with your granny. Nah, I went and stayed with my dad. Your dad, like, like but my grandma moved from DC. My grandma stayed in Detroit, so my mom. And this passed, your grandma, right? Right, right on, Big Lulu. Look at Big Lulu. Lulu, <laughs> <laughs> Lulu. <Lou. Lou>, <laughs> yeah, that's Lulu right there, baby. That's my baby right there. Yeah. And when you um, got inducted into the Hall of Fame, you mentioned that your granny had passed away four years prior. Yeah. And yeah. this is the granny you were talking about, correct? Right, right, right. Okay. Right, okay. Right. Well, before we get into okay. our last couple clips for the I do have a tribute for you. Uh, and yes, this is our last surprise for the night. Right. And uh, here we go. I hope you like it. Let me see. Me, man, I just wish my mom and my grandmother was here. You know, I lost my mom when I was 11. But uh, I lost my grandmother four years ago. And, you know, I just wish she was here to see it. But I know she in heaven, both of them in heaven. And I know they're looking down on me. I've been moving calm, I'm starting to trouble me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cook on me. You know how I like it when you're loving me. I don't want to die for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they wish on me. Hope I got some brothers that outlive me. They gon' tell the story, it was different with me. God's plan. God's plan. I hold back sometimes I won't. I feel good sometimes I don't. I finesse that Western road. I go down to GOD. I go hard on Southside G. I make sure that Northside E. And still. Bad things, it's a lot of bad things that they wish and 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 they Turn the out two into the out three, dog. Without 40 alley, there'd be no me. Imagine if I never met the broski. I can't do this on my own. Someone watching this. Terrence, I love that picture. I love I've been it. Missing Scarlet Road. <laughs> I go down as G.O.T. I'm over there looking like, man, why they get down? I go hard on Southside G. <laughs> I make sure that Northside E. And you just look so grown, man. Still. <laughs> bad things. It's a lot of bad things that they wish and 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 they wish when they gave everybody in the picture had on the same suit and tie. Bad yeah, things. Like, it's a lot of bad everybody things that they wish and they wish and they wish. Big ass suit coat. <laughs> that was suit coat was big as shit. Everybody had to wear the same suit coat. This was crazy. Class of 18, Hall of Fame. Man, that's what's now, up. Now, before I go on, I must say this. Pancho, Corey, and Julian, please hit me up. I would love to do a story on y'all just as well, just like this. So please hit me up. Let me know if y'all down for it, and we can do the same thing for y'all. But tonight is T-Roll night, baby. It's your night. It's your night. <laughs> it is your night to shine. Right. You are an example of a person that, 
you know, when you when the people say come from the gutter, it doesn't necessarily mean you was poor or that you stayed in the projects or nothing like that. But right. I came from Saginaw. You know what I'm saying? So I that means to me, unfortunately, we all came from the gutter. And for you to make it to this right here, I'm going to show you this picture. And I told you, I'm going to show you pictures throughout the night. <laughs> for you to make it to this right here. Yeah. Right. Let me goddamn applaud that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this means something big. That was big. How did yeah. you feel at that moment? I mean, it was a it was a it was a dream come true. You know, it was a dream come true. Uh like I can remember like my my, my first day of uh, training camp, I'm riding the bike and Jamal Mashburn come in and I'm riding the bike and I, I'm just looking at him because that, that camp I was telling you about I went to in Pasadena, he was the the the, the, the uh, chaperone because he was at Kentucky. You know, he was an all American and everything. So I'm riding the bike and as he walking by. He like take a you know somebody take a look at you and then take a double look like and i'm like yeah he like oh you know it was you know it was like one of them like i'm like man i didn't think you remember like hell yeah i remember your last name he was that past you you know so it was it was it was man but you know i was starstruck i ain't gonna lie shit, i was wow. starstruck i was starstruck like a motherfucker i ain't gonna lie shit. and motherfuckers will be lying to you if they tell you that they don't be starstruck when they get to the nba or make it to the nba and you see motherfuckers you see on tv <laughs> And now you get him, you know, man. You kiss my ass. I was starstruck like a motherfucker. Now, who are some of the NBA players that you've actually, you know, was hand in hand with? You know what I'm saying? Like you was talking to face to face all day. Uh, man, it was, uh, man, a lot of them. You know, it was a lot of them. But my favorite one is uh Kevin Garnett. You know, that's Kevin my Garnett. That's, that's just my all time favorite. You know, that was my teammate. You know, and and you know, he just. He just was a down to earth cool dude, you know. Just you know, once he saw me, it was like he he ran down the hall and grabbed me, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> he was play the Timberwolves and uh for preseason and he we coming down the hall and I'm coming up the hall and he looked up and knocked the head, ran down there, picked me up, you know, that was, you know, that was the type of stuff, you know, and he yelling, Yeah, baby, we made it, baby, we made it. And you know, <laughs> it, you know, it was real, it was just real, you know. It was, that was a real moment for me. That was that was one of my special moments. Like I said, that was my teammate. Like we was mm -hmm. we was all we was all going to Michigan together. Me, him, Tractor Trailer, and Albert White. We had already wow. made a, we had already made a pack. We had already said you know that, that you know we was going. But you know he went to the NBA and shit. My ass ain't, ain't passed the SAT. <laughs> you know, Julia, Julia, your ass would laugh. You would. Laugh. Hey. How you doing, for real? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My dog, man. Hey, that's, bro, hey. Bro, you, you passed it. You passed it. Yeah, Julie, passed it. Julie, Julie said, that's my dog, though, man. That's my dog. They, they red flagged me, man. That was yeah. crazy. Hey, yeah, hey. Out, out of all the motherfuckers that did it, you, you know they just flagged you. Man. <laughs> hey, once I once I heard, hey once, hey, once them numbers came through, once my daddy told me them numbers came through, I saw. Uh, you might have called on you. Hey, <laughs> hey, I, 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 ain't even, I ain't even know what to say. I ain't even know what to say. I said, oh, geez, I know, I, I know, I ain't playing this year. It's over. Hey, Reed said, oh, he want to play with me. I got something for his ass. Man, look. <laughs> hey, it was over too. I was, I was getting ready to play my first game. We were gonna play the first game. And they, they came and told me, nope, it's over, buddy. You gotta take this, you gotta take this test over again. This ain't right. Something Reed, ain't right. Reed seemed to be very powerful. <laughs> nah, but Reed, nah, 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 Reed, nah, nah, Reed ain't had nothing to do with this one. Nah, I, I, I already know what happened. I already know what happened with this. That was, it was that jump. It was that jump. It was that. It was that fifteen to a twenty-one. They like, hold on, hell no. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> you go from a fifteen, nigga, barely pushing sixteen five. Okay. <laughs> you take your ass to a twenty-one. Hell no. Yeah, hell no, that's no. so funny. Yeah, no, that's so they, funny. Man, yeah, they look deep into that. They like, oh yeah, okay, now nah, okay, I, I know what happened. So yeah, with that, I, I already know what happened with that. That 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 was out of everybody's control right there. <laughs>
<laughs> but I, I had one, one more time. I had to do what I had to do. <laughs> I know that's right. So we got our last two clips for the night. Um, and this is something that I want each and every one of you men, including you, Pooley, to um, talk about just as well. But before we play those clips, um, this is our last picture. And I would love for you to tell us about this picture. Ah, <laughs> ah man, that's my that, hey, that's my little sister, man. That, that's my yes, mama. That, that's, my, that's my blood sister, man. That's my mama child. She was she was six months old when my mama passed. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like she was a, she 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 was fresh out the womb. Yeah. You know what I'm my, saying? My uh, my mom yeah. was seven months yeah, old when her seven, mother passed away. Yeah, she got married mm -hmm. and called me. I, I, I walked her down the aisle. You know what I'm saying? That was that was that was that was a special moment for me. Yeah. Aww. You know? That's that so was a special sweet. moment. Like you I know, said, I had to show that picture. You know, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, I, I had forgot about that one too. You know, yeah, you yeah, you went deep into the archive. Then yeah, you, <laughs> you, you went deep into the pictures. That's what I do. That's what I do. That's what that's I do. What's up. That, no, that's what's so, up. So this is our last two clips, which is what I want you all to comment on. Um, Pooley, he knows how I handle my shows, which is I discuss crime, crime all over the United States in our black community. I bring it to the forefront. Um, sometimes I cry, sometimes I laugh, sometimes I get mad, you know, sometimes I cuss folks out, parents and all, I don't give a damn, they all get the business, but, um, I had to bring it tonight, I had to bring it tonight, so I'm gonna play these last two clips, um, I want y'all opinions on it, Terrence, now you should have seen these, cause I sent them to you, but just in case you didn't, let me see. We go flat. He said, "Let me see. Let me see." <laughs> but here we go, y'all. This literally happened here in Atlanta. Um, when I picked this clip out, oh. all I could think about was basketball and how these two young men had something big going on, just like oh, T. Yeah, Rob. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Now you remember. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. just like T-Roll, just like Poncho, just like Corey, just like Julian, just like Pooley, they all have something good going on. But unfortunately, they are not going to reap the benefits for it. Um, Poncho, T-Roll, Corey, Julian, Pooley, y'all had a second chance. Y'all had another chance. Or however y'all want to put it, put it. You know what I'm saying? These two young guys was in the streets. And unfortunately, this is how it happened. So here we go. Suspects who happen to be star athletes, the victim on your screen right here, 24 year old Connor Mediate. The two guys charged are Jonathan Murray and Cameron Walker, a surprise to students who just saw them last night in the basketball game. CBS 46's Savannah Louie live in Alpharetta tonight with more on reaction, Savannah. Yeah, they're shocked for a couple of different reasons. First, that this could happen here in their community. And second, that it's these two boys who could be involved. They're relatively well liked by folks at school and they're facing some disturbing charges. The fact that I knew them and I like passed them in classes like every day really freaked me out. How do you understand the unbelievable? Everybody was talking about Very it. stressful, yeah, like, very... Every single um, class you went to, you could like hear someone or another person. Milton High School students lean on one another as classmates, 17-year-old Cameron Walker and 18-year-old Jonathan Murray sit in jail. The pair taken into custody after winning their high school basketball game Wednesday night, charged in connection with the murder and attempted robbery of 24-year-old Connor Mediotti. One of my football friends is even like, I gave him a hug like two days ago. I didn't even know. And like, people were talking about how crazy this is. They hit it so well. You know, these kids are 17 and 18 years old. I mean, their life is done. Over, over some really, just a really poor decision. According to arrest warrants, Walker coordinated a drug deal with Mediati over Snapchat. Mediati thought he was selling drugs to Walker, but other Snapchat conversations reveal Walker was planning to rob him. When they met at the Collingwood Apartments, Mediati was shot and killed. Social media, cell phone data, and other evidence connected Walker and Murray to the murder. You may think it disappears. Nothing disappears. It's always there and it's always there for life. Investigators say it's not clear who pulled the trigger. Very south of their families, you know, and very south of their team. 
can I, you know, like it was really stressful for some of the players on the team just to find that out. Now, one of those suspects, Cameron Walker, was a recruit for a Division I basketball team at George Mason. Uh, we know that the head coach for that team even called him, quote, one of those feel-good stories. Now, I did just hear from the university who tells me that Walker has been dropped from the program. Reporting live from Alpharetta. Two high school basketball players are behind bars tonight facing murder charges. 17-year-old Cameron Walker and 18-year-old Jonathan Murray arrested immediately after last night's game. CBS 46's Adam Murphy is live in Milton, and Adam investigators say it's possible that drugs could have played a role in this killing. Well, good evening, Rick. Investigators here at the Alpharetta Police Department tell me they are confident that the murder happened over an attempted robbery and drug deal gone bad. Just 12 hours after Milton High School defeated Roswell wearing their white home jerseys, two of their star players went from the basketball court to magistrate court facing serious charges. We believe it was a drug related case that they were either there to purchase or rob the suspect. Captain Sean Woods with the Alpharetta Police Department said 17 year old Cameron Walker on the left and 18 year old Jonathan Murray on the right are charged in connection with the attempted robbery and murder of 24 year old Connor Mediate, who police say was fatally shot at the Collingwood Apartments last month. According to the arrest warrants, the two students left a trail of evidence on social media. They use multiple platforms, but the one that we found the most useful information was off of Snapchat. And the, the biggest thing to tell people is, you may think it disappears, nothing disappears. It's always there and it's always there for life. Investigators say the teens discussed their plans for the robbery on Snapchat. The incident has stunned fellow classmates. I've played with them, they're really nice people. I've always seen them in school and they've always been really nice to me. A judge denied bond for Walker and Murray on Thursday, while the search for a murder weapon continues. It, it, it really, really hurts because, you know, these kids are 17 and 18 years old. I mean, their life is done over over some really just a really poor decision. Now, Milton High School did not comment on this because it did not happen on their campus. Lastly, the captain here at the Alpharetta Police Department told me, sadly, one of the boys involved was recently offered a Division One scholarship to play college sports. Live tonight at the Alpharetta. Baby Henry said, uh, I know him, but I he was good to me. Henry said <laughs> Henry said that black nigga ain't did shit to me. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about him. He is crazy. He will have his folks come looking for me. So Henry said he good with him. He good with him. But what would y'all say if y'all could speak to these young brothers right now? You know. They probably didn't have no guidance at all. They was good on the team, just like y'all was good on the team. But unfortunately, their life is gone. They finna go to prison. Man, that's a Chance, sad, that's a sad, sad situation. Go ahead, um, Julian. That's a sad situation. You know, coming up in Saginaw, we was all all like one one mistake away from being in that situation. All subject to it. Yep. We we uh we just had people looking out for us. God, especially God, looked out for us. You know, they yeah. tell we had guys telling us, "Look, you shouldn't do this." Uh, that, ask T. Rowe. That's why people probably was giving them money because they didn't want them to be in the streets. Right. You right. know, they didn't want us to be in the streets. They didn't want us. They seen us playing, playing ball. That was our passion. And and them guys made a serious mistake, and it's a sad situation. You know, and especially in today's era, that that's really I mean, in the era really, but. Yeah, yeah, they, they thought they got away with it using that social media and that social media monster. Man, stupid. Exactly. Yeah. Terrence, before you ask the Terrence, Puncho, what you feel about that clip? Well, well, me and Coach Julian have been on both sides of the ball. We, I mean, we didn't coach players that did that same stupid stuff just years ago. I also was, I, I'm also a victim of, of the same thing. My son was killed. Yeah, at mm -hmm. 16. You know, and my condolences. So, I mean, it, just childish mistakes, no guidance, you know what I'm saying? And or a lack of funding, and they trying to come up real quick in today's world. They just looking at what's happening on TV and on YouTube or whatever mm -hmm. the rappers say, 
it's a IG. quick fix to get some money. Right. You know, it's sad. It's a sad situation that it happened to him, and it's funny that we talking about this because I just got the full Wayne, and me and my staff, and and I was talking to my kids about the same thing about the violence, and they young girls, but nobody's exempt is what I'm gonna Nobody. Say, you know, and, and and I'm like Coach Drew. Uh, a lot of it just, you know, BT, Corey, Jew just made it out by the grace of God, <laughs> you know, because yeah. we was all one mistake away from, from that, you know what I'm saying? We all had one foot on the banana peel at one time, you yeah. know? Exactly. And when you say, because, Corey, I'm going to have you um talk about the clip next, but, Poncho, when you say that you work with girls, um, here on my platform, on Wednesdays especially, every Wednesday, I have family members that come on just like y'all on, but I have family members that come on every Wednesday with my co-host Jason and mm -hmm. they tell their loved one's story. Their loved mm -hmm. one that has been murdered, either through gun violence, domestic violence, the prison system, or even the police. They all come on um, each family, you know, one by one, and they tell their story and you know, it's a sad situation. It's a very, very sad situation. So, Corey, I want you to talk about that clip next. What you think about it? Man, what I would tell kids, they just be, all it takes is one unconscious decision to mess your life up forever, you know? And it just at the end of the day, it ain't worth it for some quick money or, or whatever it is. Uh, it just quick stuff ain't, ain't good for you, man. You'd rather work for something because it paying out in the long run a lot better for you. Exactly. Exactly. You are so right. Um, Terrence, I still don't want you to answer yet. <laughs> I still don't want you to answer yet. Uh, we have came to the end of our show. Um, I thank you all so, so, so much for joining tonight just as well. Uh, we're going to let Pooley answer the question. Then we're going to go into t Row, And I'm going to pull everyone down. And I don't want you to hang up until I end the broadcast. Um, but, up in that bathroom, okay, somebody got to turn their background down. Okay. That's me. Um, I got to get out the room with that. Okay. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we're going to be, be up at six. I mean, exactly. at seven. <laughs> now, Pooley, what you feel about that clip? I mean, I can't say nothing nothing, no, nothing more than what, what everybody else just said, man. I mean, it's it's a sad situation point blank period it's sad um like corey said i mean listen one bad decision bro it can really ruin you when we say really ruin you we mean really ruin you because we can all we all made bad decisions exactly but that one decision and we all know what that decision is before we did it yeah. we thought about it crossed your mind and it went all the way through your mind. You went through the ins and outs of if you're going to get away with it. Yeah. And when you said, I can't get away with it, what did you do? Stop. Nah, bro, we ain't going to do this one. Exactly. I'll catch you on the next one. We can't get away with this one. But, you know, like he said, one bad decision, man, can can ruin your, ruin your life. Forget about your career. We talking about your life. Exactly. This is a life decision that you're making right here. It's not just a basketball decision. It's not a school decision. This is a life decision you're making when you pull out a pistol on anybody. First yeah. of all, it's for defense, not offense. It's a defensive weapon, not an offensive weapon. And when you use it as an offensive weapon, it's deadly. You know, and it's not much we can say to them other than, I got your back. You know what I'm saying? They need somebody in that corner. Like they on that team, that coach needs to come on in. Bro, we family. Like y'all said, you on the squad, bro, you fam. Mm -hmm. You on this team? With these 12 folks right here, we fam, bro. You know what I'm saying? We all going to get together and we going to do whatever it takes. But 
if it's two of them, look, they done went off and did their own thing. It's, it's, it's like, you know what I'm saying, 10 more cats over here, man. And they they didn't make that decision. They might they might be in the same boat they in, man. We don't know. Exactly. But they could be in the same boat and not make that decision. Like, bro, no. I figured something else out. Bro, I I I really don't need them shoes that bad, bro. I'm mm-hmm. good. I can I can run in these. You know what I'm saying? It ain't much like I said, it ain't much I can say that everybody else ain't said already. All right, baby, you know what you said a lot. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud. Baby, you just did talk. My husband just dropped his gems, baby. He just dropped his gym. So. Oh, okay. I don't need too much talking, man. <laughs> you act like you do. You act like you do. <laughs> but, y'all, but seriously, you know, this has been a very, very great experience tonight. Uh, I am going to let T Robe answer this question. Um, I am going to pull everybody else down and do not hang up. Do not hang up. I'm just going to pull everybody else down. And t Rob, you know, at the end of my show, you know, I got to play the little music. (laughs) (laughs) Hey! Hey! I got to play the music for the last person that do the last talking. So this is how this going to go. Now, I'm going to ask you, to, first of all, you're going to talk about what happened on the clips, how you feel about everything, what you would tell these do, young I ain't going to do that to this music, man. Yes, he is. Okay, and how and how you finna um, tell these young men, you know, how you felt and everything, and what you would say to them and stuff. And then, let me finish. Then... No, then you're gonna drop your gym, your peaches. Drop your peaches mean wherever anybody can find you at. You know what I'm saying? If they wanna do an interview with you, because that happens here on Peaches Tea Time. People see you on here and they might reach out to you and wanna do an interview with you. So you're gonna let them know where they can find you at. All that, st- all that great stuff. But the thing is this you're gonna be the only one up here, baby. You gonna be the only one up here. <laughs> they just gonna see your face and your face out. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. So uh-huh. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my peaches. Y'all already know where y'all can find me at on YouTube, Facebook, on Facebook again, and also on IG. Also, y'all know y'all can find me at Hits 92.3, the real definition of internet radio, baby. ATL. Oh. Wait, <laughs> I love saying that. So that's where y'all can find me at, okay? And of course, each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, nine o'clock p.m. Eastern, on PTT time, and also each and every Saturday from three to four. Right now until July 11th, and I'll be on for two hours from two to four p.m. Easter time, baby, Easter time. I did it. I did it. That was all that shit. Okay. Now, we finna let Terrence have the motherfucking flow, baby. Yes, Terrence, we love you. We love you. I love we y'all thank too. You. you know that. Yes, and when I say that, I mean that from each and every... I can't speak for the whole Saginaw. I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't speak for Saginaw, but who I can speak for is Buna Vista High School, baby. You did your thing. We love you. We love you. We love you. You have shown us so, so much. You have shown us that dreams do come true. You have shown us that if you have faith, that things can happen. And we appreciate you. I don't care who say it and who don't say it. It's the honest to God truth. We love you and we appreciate you for it. Appreciate, now, appreciate I'm y'all. I'm gonna let you have a flow. Here uh-huh. we go, y'all. Uh, first of all, you know y'all can find me on Facebook. You know I ain't really on Instagram or none of that other stuff, but y'all can find me on Messenger. You know, message me if you know if you got any questions or you need anything done. But as far as those clips go, you know I was I was like that. You know I made I made one one bad move and it cost me a lot. So. I understand, you know, I understand they struggle because everybody struggle different. 
you know, I ain't killed nobody, but I, I killed a lot of my dreams. You feel what I'm saying? Like I, I killed a lot of them, you know, just by doing one stupid mistake. You know what I'm saying? Just by walking off the floor, letting my emotions, you know, just take over, you know? So, you know, when it comes to that and, you know, like, like I said, I don't know they struggle. So maybe they had to, you know, you know, to rob somebody, you know, it's, it's, it's a little different, you know? So like, I don't, I don't, I don't down nobody for, for how they try to do what they do. I just try to, you know, if I'm there, I try to tell them, tell them to do it a different way. You know, by me working as a juvenile, I'd, I'd have been around kids while I had to tell, you know, different things. So, or them losing their scholarships and stuff, I already know it's tough. And they thinking about it right now. And that's something that they gonna have to get through. I had to get through it and you just gotta bounce back. You know, it's about your bounce back. You know, you can't stay down forever. It's all about your bounce back, so. I appreciate y'all having me on y'all show. And uh, yeah, I love y'all, you know, and hey, it's been real. Peace. Peace, <laughs>